come to you live with details of the 2012 London Olympic Games happening right now in Great Britain. To kick off the Games, there were a total of 8,000 torchbearers along the route around the globe. The seating this year ranges from 20 to 2,012 pounds, and most of the income is collected from tourists. These games will be hard to match, especially with the budget having increased 6.9 billion from the original 2.4 billion pound budget. Since these games are more environmentally friendly than previous, others will be sure to follow suit. This year, 25% of all building materials have been recycled, and for the occasion, the government ordered the cleaning of the nearby environment, decreasing pollution greatly. Now over to Jolsey on the scene in London. Thanks, Tom. Well, news lovers, it would seem that things are looking out for Britain as well as Western Europe. They should be celebrating the good news of rising economies and more integrated societies back home, and even those without homes are starting to receive jobs. Hello, what's your name? I'm Carlos. Good to meet you, Carlos. Where are you from? I'm from Spain, ma'am. And how are you liking London? I really like it here. Everyone seems so happy and the streets are so festive. Great! What is your favorite thing about the game? I think what I like best is that everyone is so connected and people aren't jeering at each other. They're just having a good time. And how have the games affected your community? The government has been establishing huge recreational centers where people can come and enjoy themselves. And how do you think everyone back home is reacting to this? Oh, I'm sure they love it. It's something they've always wanted. And as soon as I get back home, I'm gonna, I intend to use the new facilities. Wonderful. And who are you rooting for? Dude, Spain for sure. Go for the gold! <laughs> well, I'm sure they will do great. Well, that's all the time we have for the interview. Thank you for your comments. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Well, guys, it seems like these Olympics are having a very positive effect on the international community. Let's see who else we can talk to. As you can see, this is a very momentous occasion and people from all walks of life are enjoying the ceremony. Let's talk to one now. If I may ask, how do you think the Olympics are going? I think they're going great, in my opinion. I was able to get a job, which gave me the opportunity to, um, you know, have the means to support myself. Yeah? And how do you think the games are affecting the environment? Oh yeah, they're great. The parks and streets are all cleaned up and there's trees and flowers planted everywhere. It's, it's um, also, the transport's been, been better. It's more efficient and eco-friendly. Wonderful! Well, what about culture? Do you think that people will be more accepting after they witness this grandiose demonstration? Well, I don't know about everyone else's opinion, but I definitely appreciate other nations more now that I've seen that they have a strong society, a society that's good enough to get them into the games. That's cohesion right there, I believe. Thank you for your time, ma'am. No problem. Thank you. And now, back to the newsroom with Tom. Thanks, Jelsey. That's right. The Olympics decreased unemployment by 1.2% and the Games acted as political and cultural unification device. These Games are inspiring other countries to build local sporting facilities in which people can train and show off their skills. The Olympics are causing cultural diversity to be encouraged in the UK, and culture and art has been spreading out of Britain and all of Western Europe as well.